Hey folks, Andy here from Andy McSweet Photography and Photo Tour Bruges. I'm here at Souvenir Moret on the Market Square in Bruges. It is an absolutely beautiful souvenir shop. It is absolutely loaded with all these cool little details that all say Bruges. And since I have the 80mm Fujifilm macro lens on my hands for the next couple of days, I think it's uh, well worth dropping by and taking a look on what we can do. Now, having had this lens in my hands the last few days, I gotta say it is very, very impressive what Fujifilm's put out on the 80mm front. It is a one-to-one -one macro lens that I think works out super sharp, super low distortion, obviously super nice quality just as far as sharpness, contrast, all those elements that you're looking for in a lens. Fujifilm hasn't disappointed. It is a little bit of a heavy lens, I won't lie to you. Definitely I'm happier when I'm holding this with two hands. But having said that, I think it's worth it, frankly, because when you get to a one-to-one -one reproduction scale, when you get all that nice optics in there, and you get anti-stabilization technology built right into the lens, well, you know, it's gonna add up a little bit, but it's still very manageable. And for me, I think it's perfectly good. I will say, if you want to talk about how the lens is made, overall quality on the internals, as I've talked about, gorgeous. On the outside, nice, really solid construction. Rubber ring, so you can have a nice firm grip. I'm sure there's a bad joke in there somewhere. And, well, when you get to the aperture ring, it's nice, smooth, and works like it should. It's not quite where I like it to be as far as, you know, what Fujifilm does with the 16 to 55 millimeter aperture ring. Just more solid clicks, nicer feel overall. But this is no slack. It's still very, very well built. I feel definite clicks when I turn it. And considering especially I put my camera on the side using a harness, I don't see accidental clicks of the apertures when I go to use it. So really well built overall. There's not many more switches and dials on this thing to talk about, although obviously you have your stabilization on and off switch, that sort of speaks for itself. You also have the switch that you're going to get to know fairly quickly and fairly intimately, which is the focus distance changer. Because if you put it on full, it'll look the entire range, it'll be a little bit slower, so do avoid that. Perfectly uh, acceptable if you're using this as a short telephoto lens, but for macro, I'd basically get to know the next two switches. The Oh, what is it again? 0.5 meter to infinity focus, which I found myself using a lot, with my tastes in macro being, you know, close but not too close. And then, of course, when you go to that last switch, you're within, what is it again? Oh, that's right. 0.25 of a meter right down there. That's where you start seeing this macro really start to shine on the magnification. And also just be warned at a one-to-one -one scale, if your object isn't flat, look out a little bit for that drop in depth of field because you're going to notice it. And it might just interfere with that photo uh, as far as clarity in the story you're trying to tell. I will say though, when things are out of focus with this lens, and it will happen a lot on a macro, that's the nature of the beast, you have absolutely wonderful bouquet or buka or just that blurry stuff in the background as we all like to think about it. So, you know, good lens, really solid overall, and it does have a 1200 euro price point at the moment, but it's going on my list. I'm very, very interested to see what this lens could do in further testing. I'm going to put some images at the end of this video so you can have a good look for yourself. And obviously, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. That's what I'm here for and it's my pleasure. All right, why don't we wrap this up? I want to get some more photos of all the nice bits and bobs before Fujifilm Belgium take this thing back along with the X-H1. So uh, why don't I just wish you well? I'm Andy McSweeney of Andy McSweeney Photography and Photo Tour Bruges. If you're in the beautiful city of Bruges, drop by Souvenir Moret. It's right on the market. Super friendly and super nice. And obviously, if you want to join me for a photo tour, you are more than welcome. I'm Photo Tour Bruges three times a day at least. All right, get out there and get shooting. See ya.